हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू ऑनलाइन लर्निंग हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम इम्पोर्टेंट कंसेप्ट ऑफ चैप्टर्स एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑल्सो सम क्वेश्चन आंसर so your first chapter is formatting of documents in ms word 2010 so ms word is a word processing software used to make a document so what do you mean by formatting so formatting means setting the layout and style of text in a document in other word changing the appearance of your document is also known as formatting suppose if you want to make your document more attractive or more beautiful then we use format means in order to make the document more presentable and beautiful we format it there are many ways in which we can add effects to it so we can do many things in the formatting like changing the font and size aligning the text and setting tabs so some question answers are here you can see your first question is what do you understand by formatting of text so for formatting of text means changing the appearance of your document in order to make the documents more presentable and beautiful we format it so if you want to make your document more presentable and beautiful then we use formatting formatting means just changing the font size font style etc now next question is what is alignment alignment the positioning of text on a page is known as alignment means by the alignment you can shift the position of the text from left to right now next question what is font is it possible to change the font style so font is a set of numbers letters special characters or symbols and yes it is possible to change the font style means whatever you are typing in ms word it is called font now next question what is bullets used in the list answer is a bullet is a small graphic symbols that differentiates an item from the list means in the list you are seeing some numbers roman digits letters these are are called bullets now fifth question what do you mean by clip art so clip art is a preloaded group of pictures videos and audios that can be inserted into a document so by adding the clip art you can make your document more attractive and presentable it is a preloaded group of pictures next question how can you change the line spacing why we are giving the line spacing to make our document more attractive so answer is step 1 select the paragraph so firstly you have to select the paragraph step 2 go to home then select paragraph and then select line paragraph spacing now step 3 select the required line spacing from the display text so you can give according to you now next question is what do you understand what do you need to format a document so you are performing the format formatting in your document so what are the needs so formatting includes changing fonts and size alignment the text and setting tabs etc 
So these are the needs to format a document. Now next question. This is the last question of your chapter. Give the steps to insert a picture in a document. Suppose if you want to add the picture into your document. So step for inserting the picture. So for inserting the picture, step one, go to insert illustration group and click on pictures. Now step two, insert picture dialog box will appear. So after clicking it, the ins picture insert picture dialog box will appear. Browse the pictures that you want to insert and select the desired picture and click on insert button. So like that, you can insert a picture into your document. Now next chapter, your next chapter seven, that is learning logo commands. So why we are using logo? So logo is a computer language that is used to draw pictures or figures. So basically logo is an, is an easy computer language made for children. The children who are inter interested in drawing and making funny cartoons, logo stands for language of graphics orientation. The full form of logo is language of graphics orientation. It is used to draw figures, type text and perform mathematical calculation. Means you can perform the operations and mathematical calculation also. To draw pictures, we have to give the commands and input it uh, to it. The commands of logo are called primitives. So the group of commands Means commands of logo are called primitives. Now question answer. What do you understand by primitive? So the commands of logo are called primitives. It is used to draw figures, type text and perform mathematical calculation. Means if you want to draw some pictures and perform some calculation, then primitives are used. These are the logo commands. Now next question, what is pen erase command in logo? Erase means to erase something. So this command is used to rub off a line or a part of the line while the turtle is trying. Now here, what is turtle? So the triangular shape, the triangular shape which you are seeing on your logo screen is called turtle. Now next question, what do you type commands in logo? So we type command logo commands in a commander window of Microsoft Windows logo program. So if you want to type the commands, then you can type in commander window. Now next, why pen down command is used? Pen down, so this command makes the turtle to put the pen down on the screen and start drawing. Now next question, name the logical operator used in logo. So logical operators used in logo are greater than, less than, equal to. These are the, these are called logic, logical operators. Now next question is, what is the purpose of quotient function? Quotient means, suppose if you are dividing the number by another number. So the result is called quotient. So this function needs two values as input. It divides the first input number by the second input number and gives the quotient. Suppose, example, print quotient. If suppose you are dividing 50 by 5. Then 5 tens are 50. So 10 is called quotient. Now next chapter is logo programming. So in logo programming, computer performs command in sequence. When you are designing a logo drawing, think of steps that the computer should follow to do it. 
So try to map out all these steps in advance, then enter them at a, the command line, find out how accurate your thinking is. The computer is your faithful serv servant. It will do exactly what you tell it to do. So in logo programming, you can make a different types of shapes shows that you are seeing. These shapes you can draw in logo by the commands of logo or programming of logo. So what are the logo procedures? So logo procedures are the set of logo commands. Suppose if you are performing many commands in logo, then the logo procedure are the set of logo commands that are to be followed in the to perform a particular task. Logo procedure should always be given a particular name by typing the name of the procedure in the input box and pressing the enter key. So if you want to execute the logo command then type the procedure name into the input box and press enter key. The set of commands gets executed and the result is obtained. So logo procedure can be divided into three parts. Title line means it contains the name of the procedure. It always begins with the word to means title line is always begun with the word to. Now next is body. It has got all the primitives for drawing a desired figure. Now third is end line. It contains the word end which informs the computer that the primitives of the procedures are over. So end tells the computer that procedures are over. So some rules to write the procedure. So to write a procedure's name, following points to be followed. The first character of the procedure name should always be an alphabet. Means the first character always be an alphabet. It is not a number or a special character. The procedure name contain alphabet symbols or numbers only. A procedure name cannot contain any blank space. So we cannot give the blank space between the procedure's name and arithmetic operators. Logo commands cannot be used as a procedure's name. So we cannot use a logo command as the procedure's name. Now question answers. What do you understand by procedures? So we have already discussed that procedures are the set of logo commands. What are the points to be followed while writing a procedure? So two points we have already discussed. The first character of a procedure name should always be an alphabet. Logo commands cannot be a procedure name. Third question is what can the use of repeat command? So repeat command is used to run the instruction list repeatedly. Suppose if you want to suppose if you want to perform some task repeatedly, then we can use a repeat command. Now next question is how can a procedure be saved? So you have to follow these steps. First is file, uh, open the file menu, choose save option. Now define the names in a file name text box and click on save button. Now next question, write the steps to execute a procedure. So suppose if you want to ex execute a procedure, then type the procedure name into the input box and press the enter key. So we have already discussed, then suppose if you want to execute the procedures, then type the procedure name into the input box and press enter key. Now last question, what is the use of erase command? So erase command is used to erase a procedure. Suppose if you want to erase a procedure, then erase command is used. Now next chapter is introduction to MS PowerPoint 2010. So why we are using Microsoft PowerPoint? 
सपोज इफ यू वॉन्ट टू मेक यूअर डॉक्यूमेंट मोर अट्रैक्टिव एंड मोर प्रेजेंटेबल बाय एम एस वर्ड देन वी कैन यूज इन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट पावर पॉइंट इन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट पावर पॉइंट वी आर क्रिएटिंग अ प्रेजेंटेशन दैट इज मैक्स दैट इज मेड बाय स्लाइड्स सो एम एस पावर पॉइंट इज अ कलेक्शन ऑफ स्लाइड्स माइक्रोसॉफ्ट पावर पॉइंट इज अ part of microsoft office which enables you to create a smart and organized presentation using distinctive effects one can add clip arts diagrams style style text designs sounds and animations to make the presentation interesting and effective you can use powerpoint to create and display your presentation anywhere suppose if you want to make the presentation on your topic then this microsoft powerpoint is used so some question answers first question is what is the meaning of presentation name a software to create a presentation so presentation is a collection of slides ms powerpoint software is used to used for presentation Now, next question: How can you make a presentation more effective? This both we have already discussed earlier. So, by clip, using clip arts, designs, animation, etc., in our slides, we can make them more effective. Means you want to make your slides more effective, then add clip arts, design, and animation to it. Now, what are the slides? So, slides are the pages. which contains the brief information about something so in a presentation we are making a different types of slides now how can a table inserted in a ms powerpoint suppose if you want to insert the table in the ms powerpoint so following steps you have to use now firstly click on the insert tab click on the tables from the table groups click on the insert table options and select the number of rows and columns now click on okay the table is inserted means table is a collection of rows and columns so by the insert tab you can insert the table into your documents now last question is how will you exit from a presentation suppose if you have prepared the presentation and if you want to exit from the presentation then by clicking on the close button on the title bar you can exit from your presentation now next and last chapter that is introduction to the internet so we already know that internet is a network or network nowadays we are using a internet lot our every work is done by the internet nowadays so the internet is commonly called the net net means jal it is the world wide system of computer networks you can also say it is a network of networks so a collection of networks are called internet the world wide interconnection of the computers and computer networks for sharing information is known as internet suppose if you want to share something on from one computer to another computer then internet is used it stands for international network the full form of internet is international network it can be accessed almost anywhere by numerous means examples computers laptops mobile phones data cards etc it can be used for searching information sending and receiving messages booking of airlines and railway tickets banking operations teleconferencing chatting chatting etc so you can perform many types of operation by the internet so booking of tickets sending and receiving the messages to anyone you can play online games you can do e shopping video conferencing chatting so many things we can do on the internet so internet is called a network of network so question answers are 
फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हाट डू यू अंडरस्टैंड बाय द कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क सो अ कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क इज अ कलेक्शन ऑफ टू और मोर कंप्यूटर्स लिंक टुगेदर फॉर पर्पस ऑफ शेयरिंग इंफॉर्मेशन सो कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क सपोज इफ वी आर अटैचिंग वन कंप्यूटर टू मेनी कंप्यूटर्स देन इट मेक्स कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क सो इट इज अ कलेक्शन ऑफ टू और मोर कंप्यूटर लिंक टुगेदर फॉर द पर्पस ऑफ शेयरिंग इंफॉर्मेशन so by the computers computer networks we can share the information from one computer to another computer now what is internet what are its benefits so internet is a network of network it can be used for searching information booking of ticket chatting etc what does ww stand for so ww stands for world wide net world wide web ww stands for world wide web so it is the huge collection of the web pages now next question is what do you mean by isp internet service provider internet service provider gives us facility to access the internet so isp is a company that gives us access to the internet these companies are like airtel bsnl reliance jio idea etc now next question this is the last question of your chapter 10 what is an email so email stands for electronic full form of email is electronic mail it is a method of exchanging digital messages by computer so we can access we can access we can access or ex exchange the messages by an email okay suppose if you want to send or receive the messages so email is the most popular features of internet by that you can send or receive any type of messages like text documents images or videos so today we have discussed about all the chapters of term seconds so all the best for your examination Thank you